10 months ago I suffered a knee injury. If you remember, I couldn't get out for quite some time and it was really painful, especially when I was going downhill. It was affecting me just even in my normal day to day, away from YouTube, away from the, um, the rigour of the hills and the mountains. And in this video, I'm just going to talk a wee bit about what I've done to try and fix it. And hopefully it'll maybe, uh, maybe give you some ideas and some tips of, well, my experience anyway. And I'm going to go through uh, five points of things that I've done to uh, enable me to get back to the hills and mountains. So yeah, it was in December last year. I'd, I was on holiday from my uh, my day job and the weather was fantastic and I did a lot of hill walk and had a fantastic trip out to Neudert. But a few days after that, I went for another hike with my wife and I started to feel a wee bit of a niggle. I then went up to Glen Shiel and it was a beautiful day and oh my God, I was in pain. I was in a lot of pain coming down and um, yeah, the background really is I I was a bit very well, I was very concerned about my knee. A bit of background about my knee is I've had two operations in the past. Well, my, my knees, one on my left knee and one on my right knee. Um, years ago in my early 20s, I had a meniscal tear and when they went in to fix that, they, they told me that my ACL was 60 to 80% torn as well. So there's a bit of instability in that knee. Then more recently, maybe six years ago, I had an acute episode where my knee, my knee just went to pieces and it turned out the, uh, the orthopaedic surgeon said I had something called OCD which causes the cartilage to break off the, um, the, femur, the femoral condyle. So when they went in to fix that, there was no cartilage left. Anyway, so that brings me to the issue that I had with my knee and what I've done and the tips that I can give you. So with those two background bits of information in mind, I was certain or I assumed that the issue was with, um, I initially thought it was actually to do with the knee with no cartilage left and it was maybe some sort of early onset uh, arthritis. It wasn't, but that's point number one. Point number one uh, that I can, tip that I can give you is don't assume <laughs> like I did. Somebody once told me, Murray, if you're going to assume something, assume the opposite of what you're assuming, which I <laughs> thought was quite a good, it's always stuck with me anyway, that phrase. But, so point number one is don't assume, but more importantly, go and see a specialist straight away. I assumed that the issue, the issue was related to some of the problems that I had previously, and I was doing things that weren't helping, that I'd done previously, that I'd been told to help with these issues. So go and see a specialist. Um, straight away I went to see a physio and it's the best, I think it was about £40 a session which sounds a lot but yeah please go and see them because I was going on the internet, I was self-diagnosing and all the all the exercises I were doing wasn't helping the specific injury that I had and once I'd been to the physio that's when things started to improve but I'll come back to that point in just a wee while. So I'm just going to have a drink of my coffee, it's Sunday morning here, you'll probably be watching, or you could be watching this at any time but uh, I need some coffee to keep me going. The second um, thing that I think is probably just as important and I think I, something I didn't do is rest it. Rest, I rested uh, the knee, well initially I rested the knee thinking I'd rested it enough, I'd rested it for two or three weeks and in my day to day activities the knee was feeling fine. Walking along the flat, driving the car, all these sort of things with no pain. And as soon as that happened, I was straight back into the mountains that following weekend and it didn't work. As soon as I started going downhill, I started to get a lot of pain again. So rest is important and rest it for a significant period until you've, you're assured that it's, <laughs> it's um, starting to heal itself. I didn't do that and it's something I've been guilty of all my life. Whenever I've had injuries, it's just that itch, isn't it? It's that addiction to get out and do exercise. You feel bad if you don't, but... You feel worse if you can't get out there because you're knee sore, so rest is point number two. Point number three is related to point number one, where, um, which involved going to see a specialist, which in my case was a physio, and they gave me a, a strengthening programme to do. I went to see them four times, and they assessed my injury and the strength of the knee every time I went back. There was four to six weeks 
between each visit so they could give it enough time for me to do the exercises so they could assess it each time. So I've got a strengthening program. I'm not gonna tell you what exercises I'm doing because that, again, relates back to point number A. I scanned the internet before I went to see the specialist and I was doing all these exercises which strengthened the knee, which is fine, but none of them were specific for the injury that I had, so they weren't, they weren't fixing it. So I've got a specific strengthening program that I do. I have to, I've had to work it into my daily, my, my, my daily routine fitting it in amongst work. Uh, usually at night, I'll do it when I come back. Um, it takes a wee bit of uh, effort and resolve to get into that routine of doing the, uh, the exercises, and I do it three times a week, and I tell you, it's, it's really helped. Related to that, I also do a stretching, a stretching routine, which I was given by the physio. So I do that. Uh, the nights I don't do the strengthening uh, work, and that's really helped. That's not only helped my knee, by the way, I've had a I had issues with my back and my elbow, which I'll come on to at the end as an additional um, an additional thing. What else have we got here? So number four, the physio also suggested that I used KT, I think it's kin kinesiology tape. Um, I've seen this before on when I've watched the Olympics, <laughs> things like that. What's that strange strapping and tape that the athletes have got on? But uh, she showed me, the, the physio showed me how to put it on for my specific injury. So I've been using that every time we've gone on the hills as well, and that seems to have helped as well. I, I don't know which of these have fixed the knee. It's, it, I, I, must, I must say as well, just interject here before I come on to the final point, that my knee is good enough to go walking. I've always had issues with my knees, but this is the first time in about 15 years, apart from my um, surgery, that I've had these sorts of issues. So it's. It's never going to be like it was when I was in my late teens. You know, old, old age creeps up on us all, doesn't it? So, um, but um, yeah, it certainly seems to help. Uh, so all these things combined seem to fix my knee. And the final thing that I've started to do is um, before I went to the physio, and I did speak to him about this when I did see them. Um, I did do the, the sort of cell diagnosing thing, as I mentioned, by Google, but I was looking at supplements. I've, I've always taken cod liver oil, you know, after my first operation and first issue with my knees, but they I started to take, the other ones I've started to take since this injury, which might have helped. Um, turmeric, I started to take turmeric, this is turmeric, cumarin, uh, cumarin extract. I think it's the turmeric in the turmeric. <laughs> that has the uh, anti-inflammatory property. So I think from when I did the research, I was looking at turmeric with turmeric in it, if that makes sense. I've been taking that, but the one that I think has made a big difference is something called Moringa, M-O-R-I-N-G-A. And I took this maybe about a month after starting the turmeric and what I noticed with this was actually my back pain. Uh, and I had a wee bit of tennis elbow, tennis elbow for a while when I was picking anything heavy up. When I say a while, two or three years, Whenever I was picking anything heavy up, I'd get pain in, in my elbow and I didn't have much strength in my arm. And literally two weeks after starting the Moringa, it disappeared. Um, they're all anti-inflammatory, um, meant to be good for you. Whether it's that, it's probably the, the other things that have worked, but I've continued to take these and it seems to have um, helped. Maybe a placebo effect, who knows. But anyway, that is um, what I've done. Oh, there's the, I forgot to show you that, that's the, the KT tape that I... The you that I use. There's a sp specific way to put this on. So again, if you do have any issues, go and see your specialist, and they'll tell you how to put it on for your specific injury. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's been uh, of some use to you. Again, I think the most important thing is go and see a specialist if you've got a knee problem. Do doing the knee strengthening exercises that you see across the the interweb uh, are, are, are fine just generally. But if you've got a specific issue with your knees that's keeping you off the hills the number one thing that I would suggest you do is go and um, see a specialist. So, yeah, slightly different video today. I really hope that's been useful. I've had so many questions about this. I thought it would be easier for me to do this video and hopefully answer them for you. So, as always, stay safe out there and I'll hopefully see you next week on another adventure. Right, I'm going to finish this coffee and, uh, yeah, go and plan my next adventure. I'll see you later.